Hello, this is Brandon Fisher working on extra credit for CS162 Spring Term 2014 for Cindy Patterson. What I'm going to be demonstrating is how to connect to a Java connect a Java program to a Microsoft server, SQL server. So what you need to do is navigate to Microsoft just type in JDB C driver click on there you want to kind of click on this uh, JDB C driver 4.0 it's the newest one and then download it I've already downloaded it so now that you have that downloaded just create a new project just a regular Java project here. I'm going to call it um, SQL Front End. I don't need to create a main class for this one, and I'll show you why later. Finish. Now that you have that, you're going to need to add this, uh, this driver into your library. So right-click on your library, add new jar file folder. Now I've already, already, I've already done this before, so you'll need to navigate to this folder here. Open it. Alright, so now you have that in there. Next, um, you're going to need an authentication file. Actually, first let's do, uh, let's, let's get the, the connection going, or started. Um, so go into your, your help folder right here and then go into samples connections and you're going to want to use this connection URL you can just well, let me do this first open this up connection URL drag it in here boom it's going to put it in your default package connection URL it's showing it's good there alright so next what you're going to need to do which is a little weird um, not sure why you have to do this exactly, but um, you're going to need to go into your authentication, which is in that same folder, that root folder that you downloaded to. Uh, the 86 version, obviously that's the 32-bit. Copy that file. Put that file. Oops. You're going to want to put that file in the folder here, wherever you're making your project. So my, my default folder is doc, you should be too. Uh, NetBeans, that's the IDE that I'm using. Um, Java application, uh, no, that's not what the, I did uh, SQL front end here, okay? And the SRC, actually just put it in this, this main folder here. So whatever your project folder is, just put it in the main project folder. All right, so now that's in there. Now what you're gonna need to do, Edit your program a little bit. All right. So notice the database it's trying to connect to is AdventureWorks. While I don't have AdventureWorks, what I have is, let me show you here. Actually, I'm going to disconnect and show you from the start what I did exactly. All right, so I'm going to restart this. I'm just going to open up SQL Server from the start. Basically, this program, you don't need to do anything to your firewall, which that's what I thought you needed to do. Um, there's a lot of stuff on the internet, and there's nothing that's very cut and clear. All right, so basically, this is just a standalone database. You can, as long as you got access to your your uh, your database uh, authentication wise, then you can do this on any computer, your school computer, your home computer. All right, so I'm connected to my database. All right, I got an order, order entry in here, show you some tables, uh, customer, uh, let me do a quick little uh, query, no, 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 let me do a top 1,000 rows, I'll show you, it'll pop up with the data that's in there, okay? So this is the, the database that we're going to be querying, so we want order entry database. So we got our order entry database. We have our 
driver file, we have our security file that we put in the main folder there. All right, so next uh, we want to check our, our queries. All right, this query is not going to work for our database specifically. So let me just copy this over because I, I worked on this project once a little bit before. I just made a quick, I'm just going to copy this code over. Basically, all I did was change the name of the query to a name of the table that I have. These are the rows, and this is the execute query statement. So you're setting it to a variable and then taking that variable and basically assigning it rows. All right, so I'm just going to copy... I'm going to copy all the way to here. Okay, so now we got select from customer. So it's going to select all from customers and it's going to show you these are the columns um, that it's actually going to show you. It's, it's not going to show you rows, actually. I don't think I said column. All right, so now um, from this point, uh, we should be able to uh, run it. Uh, let me make it the main class. And boom, there you have it. You got column. Which columns did we select here? So we we selected column four and column six. So we have. I thought there was another one that I selected. So four and six. Okay, so we go into here to our uh, the SQL server. We did four and six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have three for row one, three, six, six. Hill Street, and uh, the customer state is Colorado. And uh, that's the basic uh, gist of it. Uh, from there on, you should be pretty straightforward of getting connected to your database. Thank you.